Welcome to Central Pro-Am's Fishing Magazine. On this week's show, we'll be headed up to Truman Reservoir, located in West Central Missouri, for the 1994 Ranger Mariner $84,000 Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship. 30 of the top pros and amateurs from Central Pro-Am's tournament circuit will be challenged by Truman's relentless and unpredictable fishery. This year, Central Pro-Am's tournament circuit began at Beaver Lake in Arkansas, where Brent Chapman twitched a suspended rattling rogue to capture first place in the pro division. And Mike Ballard of Ridgedale, Missouri, took top honors in the amateur division. Next stop on the Central Pro-Am tournament trail was Bull Shoal, where Jim Ronji took first place in the amateur division, while Preston Havens clinched first place in the pro division. And then on to Table Rock Lake, where Bobby Sullivan of Cape Fair will always find a way to win. Bobby finished first in the pro division, and Ron Eastley, Carolina rigged his way to the top spot on the amateur side. We then arrived at Lake Dardanelle in Arkansas to see Doug Garrett crank his way to first place in the pro division, and Greg Salzman used a rattle trap to capture first place in the amateur division. The next stop, Truman Lake in Missouri, where Randy Blockett proved that big fish do group up, almost 40 pounds for a first place showing in the pro division while Larry Crouch flipped his way to a victory on the amateur side. Late August found the Central Pro-Am boys on Grand Lake in Oklahoma, where Brent Chapman beat the heat to take first place in the pro division, and Brian Snowden of Springfield, Missouri took top amateur honors. After six long, hard-fought tournaments on the Central Pro-Am circuit, the top 30-point qualifiers from the pro and amateur division have been selected to do battle on Missouri's most unforgiving fishery, Truman Lake. For the past two years, excessive rains have caused Truman to overrun its boundaries and put fish in places they've never seen before. The high waters of 93 forced Central Pro-Am to move last year's regular season event as well as the 93 Central Pro-Am Championship. The spring rains of 94 again swelled Truman to 30 feet above pool, but the lake had receded back to normal by midsummer. These conditions have created a lake full of big bass that have seen as few lures as they have anglers. Truman is notorious for yielding some heavy stringers in the fall. Under normal fall conditions, Truman's bass will be shallow and loaded up in the back of the creeks, gorging themselves on shad. But water temperature in the low 60s will be the key to just how many of Truman's bass will be there. Fishing out of Bucksaw Point Resort and Marina put anglers in the middle of some of the finest bass fishing Truman has to offer. Pre-tournament festivities began Friday night with the Quaker Van Camp Victory Championship Banquet. Partners have been selected Pros and amateurs combine their thoughts on what Truman may have in store for them in the next few days. Early morning finds 30 pros and amateurs anxiously awaiting the start of the championship tournament and the chance to win their share of an $84,000 purse. The No Wake area at Bucksaw is alive with sleek fiberglass machines, their pilots awaiting the announcement of their boat numbers. This is Ernie Dottery, Tournament Director of Central Pro-Am Association and Editor of Fishing Magazine. And this is From the Front Deck. Today we're on Truman Lake at beautiful Bucksaw Point Resort in Central Missouri for Central Pro-Am Association's 1994 $84,000 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship. We're at day one, the competition's just started, and we're expecting some real fish catching action on today's show. Stay with us and we'll be right back for day one fishing and day one weigh-in excitement. Day one, we find that most of the anglers have opted to go downriver towards clearer water. Let's check in on some of the anglers and see if their patterns have held together for day one of the Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship. We've come up on Greg Ryan and his amateur partner, Ron Easley. Greg and Ron are working the outside edge of a channel break up the Grand River arm of Truman Lake. Greg working it with a crankbait and Ron choosing a spinnerbait. Visiting with Greg before the tournament, he seemed to think that it's gonna take covering a lot of water, throwing out a lot of stick-ups, just keeping the spinnerbait and the boat both moving. 
concentrating on covering a lot of water and that was going to be the key to his success. He caught some good fishing practice. He doesn't have anything in the boat at this point. Now we're coming up on Pro Division Fisherman Terry Cole. His amateur division counterpart is Bob Pace. Terry and Bob both seem to be throwing shallow running crankbaits at the treetops. We've got a report that Terry's got one fish in the boat at this time, early on the first day of the Pro-Am. You can see Terry's flipping that jig in less than a foot of water, just picking out isolated cover, working it up and down and around stick-ups. Brent Chapman, a 21-year-old pro out of Lake Quivira, Kansas, has had an outstanding year in his rookie year on Central Pro-Am. He has finished first place two different qualifying tournaments. He had a first place finish at Beaver in the first qualifier for 1994, and he had a first place finish at Grand Lake in the final qualifier for 1994. He's got a fish on right now. He's been alternating between a buzz bait, a crank bait, and a jig. We're up the uh, Grand River arm. You can see Jerry Coleman, his amateur, helping him with the net. And he puts the fish in the boat, and that's his second keeper of the day. Good fish for Brent Chapman. Two fish in the well early in the day on the first day of the Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Championship, and Brent's off to a good start. Fishing just a little farther down river from Brent Chapman and Jerry Coleman, we then find Pro Division angler Gene Vandeveer and his amateur partner, Chris Jeffrey. Gene's had a good day and has already caught his limit. Oh my, a couple nice ones. After eight hours of fishing Truman, anglers head back to the weigh-in site, each one anticipating enough weight for first place and hoping their fish will hold up just one more day. We know the first boat's already in. Uh, in this tournament, first place in our pro division is 1995 Ranger 481V with a 95 Mariner, 175 EFI, motor guide trolling motor, uh, right eye jack plates, uh, Hummingbird wide electronics, uh, pro guide batteries, uh, the works, uh, Predator prop, everything valued at $27,000. First place in the amateur division, that Mariner Mag 3 outboard motor, plus some other products valued at in excess of $8,500. Second place in the pro division is Ranger 354V, with jack plate, battery, Thunderbird white electronics, motor guide trolling motor. Third place in the Pro Division, the Mercury XR6, uh, 150 horsepower motor, along with some other products. Like I said, we're going to be giving away about $84,000 before we get done tomorrow afternoon. Now, the first boats have load, are starting to load up, and what we're doing is we're going to drive them up here, they're going to stop here load up their fish, uh, amateur division first, then the pro division, then come up here to weigh them in. I'm going to ask you all to put your hands together a lot of times this afternoon to welcome these anglers. They fished hard all year, and uh, we want to give them a, a big round of applause, each one of them, as they come in. All right, Jeff Kuzminski is going to be our leader, going to set a real target. We're going to weigh one right off the bat for Big Fig. This is going to be the Big Bass leader. 4.75 pounds. My goodness, are they all like that one? Well, I got three like that and uh, two that's about three pounds. Now, you money in every tournament that we have this year except one. There's this one, too. Truman Pro Am, that's right. It looks like you're getting even with the legs. Well, I hope so. I hope I can get even tomorrow, sure. All right, we've had a slight update or revision in the weather, and it looks like we may get a break on some of that cold front now. I hope it stays just like it is. Well, it's not going to be quite this good, but I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's going to be your leader right off the bat. 19.5 pounds, five fish, Jeff Kaczynski, that's your leader right now. Got a revised weather forecast. It's not supposed to rain as much tomorrow. It's not supposed to get quite as cold. Well, that's a good. I don't like the cold weather and I don't like the rain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these two fish right here, two good quality bass. 7.55 pounds, Terry Thomas. Thank you, sir. Oh, 
How many fish you got in that sack, young man? Two. Two fish, that looked like a pretty good fish. Big bass is 415. You want to weigh that one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, he says. All right, move it. Look at here, tied. 4.20 pounds. My goodness. You're living right, young man. All right, what's the lead right now in the amateur division? 4-5-0, oh, that's history, obviously. We have a leader right now, Joey West. That's you. Six pounds even. That's your leader right now in the amateur division in Big Bad. That wraps up day one of the 1994 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship. Leading the amateur division with 13.35 pounds is Dave Bewley from Blue Springs, Missouri. And Jeff Kozitsky from Springdale, Arkansas leads the pro division with 19.80 pounds. After the weigh-in, anglers enjoy a complimentary cookout courtesy of Armor Can Meats. Some of our anglers recap the day and their expectations for tomorrow. Uh, the first day, uh, I've had almost 15 pounds of fish, and uh, I'm catching my fish up in the back end of a creek, and I'm sharing it uh, with another fellow competitor. Uh, 19 pounds is leading the tournament. Uh, there's a front coming in tomorrow, but I'm going to go back and do the same thing. It's really the only pattern I've got going. Um, I know I'll be sharing it uh, with Bob Carnes, who's fishing in there with me, but uh, we both had a lemon in there yesterday, and, and uh, I think we'll both have a lemon in there again tomorrow. Uh, I look for about 35 pounds to win the tournament. Um, hopefully uh, tomorrow I can go out and duplicate that. Uh, this time of year on Truman, uh, the fish seem to uh, bunch up on the flats and a lot of the tree rows, and, and hopefully if I get that opportunity tomorrow, I can uh, uh, add to the weight that I had today. On day two of the 1994 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship, Mother Nature held off the predicted cold front and anglers enjoyed one more day of excellent weather. Hi, this is Ernie Dottery, Tournament Director of Central Pro-Am Association and editor of Fishing Magazine. We're on day two of Central Pro-Am's 1994 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship. We had a great day on day one as far as competition is concerned. And now we're getting ready to go out onto the waters of Truman Lake and see if we can find out how the day two competition is going. come up on Dave Barker and Dave Bewley. David Barker, the professional division angler. David Bewley, the day one amateur leader for Central Pro-Am's 1994 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Championship. David Barker had an impressive sack of fish yesterday. On day one, he was trying to get a limit early by staying close to the takeoff area. We've come up on Pro Division angler Jeff Keene. Jeff was in second place after day one on Central Pro-Am's 1994 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Championship. His fishing partner today is Kevin Cunningham, who is the Angler of the Year on the Amateur Division. Jeff and Kevin are fishing the back of a creek, about the mid-lake part of Truman Lake. Jeff is throwing and flipping a lizard towards laydowns along the edges of the creek. Kevin's chosen a spinnerbait. We're now pulling up beside the boat of Cecil Kingsley and Bill Schweitzer. 
Cecil, a longtime Pro Division competitor from Lawrence, Kansas. Had a tough day on day one, only able to boat one fish, but he has a limit in the live well today. His fish have been coming around hedge trees, and he's caught on spinner baits and flipping a jig. After two long, hard fought days fishing Truman, anglers begin the trip back to the weigh in site. But before heading to the ramp, a few anglers cast one more time, hoping for just a few more ounces that can make them champion or the runner up. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome Signal Pro Am Association 1994 Pro Division Championship Qualifiers and Amateur Division Championship Qualifiers. Well, I'll tell you what's a little better than the Truman Pro Am. You're in second place at that one and had a real tough day the second day. About five more years, I'll be able to land a limit on day two. On day two? All right. Let's call this weight on this fish here, 1.75 pounds, and that may be a very important 1.75. Right now, it keeps you firmly entrenched in second place in the amateur division, 11.20 pounds. How much he going to weigh? I really didn't tell. Uh, I haven't weighed him or anything, I don't know. I'm going to guess probably 14 pounds. All right, how are you catching? Caught most of them on crankbaits, caught two or three fish on the gig. All right, we've got the limit. We had 15.60 pounds yesterday. It's a good sack of fish. Rufus finished second in our very first Pro Division Championship. Never forgot. 14 point. Three old pounds. 29.90 pounds. The new leader in the pro division. From the Terrace. Say hello to him out there. Where's your brother? $84,000 in cash and prizes were claimed by some of the region's best amateur and professional anglers during the 1994 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship. The top 10 amateur and pro division anglers earned cash or prizes for their fantastic finish at Truman Lake.
Hi, I'm Kevin Bowling, field editor for Fishing Magazine, and this is From the Back Deck. As the sun sets on the 1994 fishing season, Central Pro-Am is proud to announce that Brent Chapman has won the 1994 Ranger Mariner Pro-Am Bass Fishing Championship held on Truman Lake. Brent went head-to-head -head with some of the toughest competition in the Midwest, facing people who have been around for a lot of years, and the 21-year-old bass fisherman showed time and time again how practice and patience pays off. Well, the 1994 season is over for Central Pro-Am, but another season lurks just around the corner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.